Tyler behind the camera. Tyler's motor here, he has already dynoed it in his S10 with on the Joe Simpson hub dyno. Carburetor, baby. Who needs EFI? <laughs> <laughs> I need EFI. I know. He and I were gonna put this on a engine dyno, the Jim Morgan engine dyno, and just see how much power it makes in the exact same tune, because he hasn't really changed anything since he came out of the truck. Nah, nothing's changed. I, I let the distributor still at 34 degrees. 34 degrees, okay, so the uh, it made on the hub 380. So is this gonna make 20% more power or is it gonna make 25% more power. I think Tyler is going to make a, a prediction. I'm gonna make a prediction. I don't know if you should make a prediction. 492. 492. So maybe I should say 500 horsepower, but I'm gonna just go 25%. I can't wait to see what Dennis says, because Dennis is the one who built this cam and put it through the dyno sim, so he probably knows more than both of us. <laughs> Tyler's looking good. He's nice and clean, no oil. Oops, sorry. Not too bad. It look, it's clean out there. This sound more choppy out there? Uh, no. That, that, no. That's 260 degrees at 50. 260, really? 260, yeah. 260. The idle, yeah. It's pretty okay idle. It's not, but if you brought that idle down to a thousand, yeah, probably, yeah. real choppy. They, our LT ones, you know, when they're not real high compression, they all sound like boat motors to me. They do, don't they? <laughs> they <laughs> so you're so, up? Uh, RPM wise, seven thousand. I guess it's keeping on here. So, so you want to do four thousand to seven thousand, or thirty-five hundred to seven thousand? That's something you strive, you know, you work hard at your carburetor tuning.
greatest value after the yeah, build. Yeah, the greatest value. Nope, it lost horsepower. Okay. Aha, see? How much? One or two? Uh, oh, no, it, it actually it gained one horsepower. I was looking at the torque. My what did you can yeah. check the average, average. average at the bottom of the 504. Oh. That oh. Made, so, so that thing did. Three. And it made 501 at 6,700. And it's still a hell of a look at that. Look how it holds so, it. Four, four, This toolbox right here, he calls it his laptop for his EFI tuning. I mean, for his carburetor tuning. Yes, yeah, everything you need. Right here, it's like you know, your screen is down. Right here, your screen is down for your laptop, and then you open it up. And then your screen is open. Again. Average looks like 412. Yep. And 417 was previous. Yep, so it did not like it. Best 417 averages. You know, interesting torque and horsepower averages are exact. All 417, right. 417. Yeah. So, yeah, well, it made a good less, a good bit less. You didn't crack 500 this time. How much did you How much better? <laughs> Spark plug wires? Oh, I did not. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> De Dennis yeah. predicted 497. Oh, that's a 65. You only got a 65. You didn't go to 7. You're still climbing. Well, I mean, it didn't fit. It, it's oh, on right. there. It's good. I mean, I had it settled. Well, it settled. So it may be in the data. No. We had to do. We had to do 4,000 to 7,000 then. We can do 72. I mean, I, I, it'll, it'll spend 72. Oh. I, I, I saw you type it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but I, uh, apparently I did, I did escape and I did uh, instead I didn't of, enter. Instead I of enter. I didn't enter. That's why I didn't uh, We haven't even messed with time yet, so I think we might. What did, we should hit 500. Yeah. It might fit on that page. Oh, okay. Maybe uh, 7,000.
AU. If you do some exploring, down below you'll find a wide variety of content ranging from reviews, YouTubers, welcome back. And today we're talking about the Black & Decker cordless lithium ion battery weed eater slash edger trimmer thingy. Yeah, this guy. Anyways, tutorials. Or my most recent endeavors that revolve around the DIY and car community. Hey, have you seen it? Uh, seen who? These nuts. 